Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And if you're new, how I do my weekly wrap up is I talk about the books I have finished, the books I am currently reading, how I'm doing with my writing, and other media. And once a month, I add in a stats portion so you can see how I'm doing on my goals. I'm gonna jump right in. This week, I finished one book, and that was Echogenesis by Gary Gibson, one of the six quarterfinalists that my team, Book Invasion, from the self-published science fiction contest, has narrowed down to. And I'm only going to briefly talk about it here because I'm going to do a video about it specifically. For me, this book ended up being like a middle book. There are some things that I really liked about it, like the world building and the plot. And then there were other things that I didn't like, like characters. And so it was a mixed bag for me. And overall, I would definitely be willing to try reading something by this author again, but this book didn't work for me the best. I then continued working on The Lost Plot by Genevieve Cogman, where Irene and Kai have continued on with their adventures and they are now dealing a little bit with some dragon politics. Book two dealt with fey politics, and now we got some dragon politics going on here. And yes, you could tell by the cover, it is set in the alternate in like the 1920s. So you do have alcohol and mobs go galore in this one. And I am really enjoying this. And I am planning on finishing it this next week. What I'm also planning on reading next week is is Babel by R.F. Kuang. I buckled under the pressure and I bought a copy because I knew it was going to be a while before I would get one from my library. And also I ended up getting it for $5.30, which I think is a steal considering hardback in a bookstore. This would have been very expensive. So yeah, that is my next planned read, which I have already started this. I started this, I think, in the summer or like at the very beginning of fall. Read a few chapters. And I know that this is my sort of writing and I'm interested to see where it's going. And I have a feeling that this is going to be a very popular book. So if I read it now and then when it comes out on award lists, I've already finished it. And... I'll probably, at the same time I'm reading that, start reading Echoes of Another Earth by J. Daniel Layfield. This is a science fiction. It's a, another of the quarter finalists for the science fiction self-published contest. And this is the one out of the six that I'm most interested in. I thought that would be a good balance after the one that I wasn't. For my writing wrap-up, I haven't been writing. I decided to kind of take a break. I'm looking at my writing goals. And in fact, I was recently on Margaret Bernard's channel talking about writing and writing goals. I'm going to link it down below in case you're interested and watch it. It's more of a chatty video than it is like productivity sprints. There is some active time that you can work on things, but it's like 10 to 15 minutes and it's based around the question that Margaret has proposed. So that was a lot of fun and got to meet Tracy and Vanessa, who I hadn't known before. So then, yeah, I'm looking at my writing goals. I'll explain more about my 2023 goals in another video that will probably come out either end of December, beginning of January. And I'll give you all the details of how I come up with different goals and why. For other media, my husband and I are watching MasterChef Junior, but we're also watching Hell's Kitchen. We like our cooking shows with Gordon Ramsay. And in the future, I still want to watch Andor and I want to watch Willow. Because Willow was one of my favorite movies as a teenager. Like To the point, I was in middle school. I would get home, I would start watching it, and my sister was in elementary school. And she, they would come home at the same part every day. And she was so mad because I already had the TV. So I got to finish my movie, but she was sick of watching it. To be fair, there were movies that she repeatedly watch that I didn't like either but yeah I used to be able to quote the movie so I'm kind of curious to see how the tv show is going and that is my weekly wrap-up how has your week been going looking back at your goals over this past year 
Are you happy with where you are? Are you feeling some stress that you didn't complete things as you wanted to? I'd love to hear about it. Let me know down below. Thanks and have a great day.